You've all heard of Saqqara 3301, one of the most famous internet puzzles around. Even today, who was behind it is still unknown. But internet mysteries and riddles certainly do not stop there, and it's not hard to find hundreds of them around if you do some digging. Here are five mysterious websites and internet riddles that are still very much unsolved. As always, sit back and enjoy. Ghostnet. In the digital era that we live in, it's hard to keep secrets and information away from those who could use it for their own personal gain. This is a struggle that all people in power have when they store classified information. As any leaks could be harmful in ways that might not only affect their public image, but could potentially put the entire population at risk. So it's no surprise that GhostNet, a large-scale malware-based cyber espionage network, has been linked to infiltrating important institutions and government sites in over 103 countries. GhostNet's origin is rumored to be in China, although this has never been confirmed, and who is behind this organization is still a complete mystery. Between June 2008 to March 2009, the Cyber Activity Tracker Project, the Information Warfare Monitor, conducted an investigation and concluded that GhostNet had infected over 1,295 computers, of which 30% had access to sensitive data. However, the investigation had no answers about the motivations behind these silent hacks, or whether the infected computers were randomly targeted or specifically chosen. Alarmingly, they have no idea what type of data was obtained and what they intended to do with it. All that we really know about this internet mystery is that GhostNet still exists. Mortis.com In the mid-2000s, the site Mortis.com was launched. It contained a black web page protected by a username and password combination. No one knew the username or password, and the mystery attracted internet sleuths who believed the site was a complex online puzzle. After investigating, a handful of 4chan users discovered that the server hosted terabytes of data. The massive amount of information stored on the page sparked even more intrigue, and more tech-savvy users were able to trace the website to its owner, a man called Tom Ling. Further connections were made when people realized Ling owned a number of other mysterious sites that had no explanation such as Sulu.net. As 4chan users continued to dig deeper, the FBI took down Mortis.com, as well as some of Ling's other websites. Unfortunately, no one was able to find out what the terabytes of information were, and who Tom Ling really was. Currently, speculation ranges from him being part of a shadowy organization dealing in the black market, to Mortis.com being a site that stored tons of classified data that the FBI had to get rid of. But to this day, no one really knows. What's your thoughts? Markovian Parallax Denigrate. Before the World Wide Web, an older computer network communication system was in use. Known as Usenet, it served as a worldwide discussion forum, similar to a bulletin board system, and was mostly used by educational institutions and software engineers along with a smaller percentage of the general public. In 1996, the Usenet message board was suddenly spammed with illogical but seemingly deliberate placed messages. This was one of them. Dwight Herzog, different, pinpoint, Dunk McKinley, pendant, firelight, Uranus, episodic, medicine, ditty, craggy, flogging, variac, brotherhood. Programmers and regular users got involved in trying to decipher what they believed were coded messages that had been posted from the email Susan underscore Lindor. Later it was discovered that Susan Lindor was the name of a journalist who was arrested in 2004 for serving as an agent for Saddam Hussein. However, no one could prove that she was behind the messages, especially after discovering that another woman of the same name had exactly the same email address. Today, only conspiracy theories remain about who was really behind the spamming and whether those messages were indecipherable codes used to feed intelligent information to secret organizations, or if they were the product of a dedicated prankster. What do you think? 
October 28, 2011.com This site's name referenced a supposed apocalypse on the Mayan calendar scheduled for the 28th of October, 2011. Although now shut down, the website consisted of a blank page with enigmatic text and a link that took people to a page with crude hand-drawn images of various subject matters, as well as diagrams. Later, a phone number was added to the site, which people began to dial, and what some reported hearing was creepy. There was supposedly a variety of disturbing sounds and beeps, as well as heavy breathing, silence, screaming, and a voice saying it's him again. At least one person also heard something heavy being dragged across the floor. After the apocalypse date arrived and passed without incident, the site suddenly became more active and kept rearranging images and posting new text before finally disappearing in 2015. No one knows who was behind the site's creation. The most popular theory was that it was a cold site due to its mention about the rapture. However, others believe it could have also been a number station for the government or a well-fabricated hoax. What's your thoughts? Mariana's Web From all the other mysteries on this list, Mariana's Web is the only one to be considered an urban legend, because no one has been able to prove that it does indeed exist, unlike the previous sites. Named after the deepest part of the ocean, the Mariana's Trench, the website is said to inhabit the deepest parts of the internet, and some people think that it's only accessible with quantum computers which are currently in the infancy of their development. If true, this is the main reason why it hasn't been accessed yet. However, the most fascinating part of Mariana's web are the theories about what lies in it. One theory is that it holds the information to find mythical locations like Atlantis and gain the secret of the ancient aliens. Another theory is that the most classified data in humanity's history is stored there with documents ranging from the secret Vatican archives to next-level weaponry that could have planet-changing effects. At the moment, the mystery of this shadowy recess of the internet remains unsolved, until someone comes up with proof of its existence. But if true, what kind of information do you think would be stored there? So that's five internet mysteries that are still very much unexplained. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.